Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, on the series Strategy Gamer, and we are returning to Command Modern Operations. So, we are nearing our big, big strike on the Krim Peninsula. We have sent out 200 missiles streaming uh, or nearing the Turkey coast over here. Uh, we are, have also quite a couple of uh, planes in the air and nearing the peninsula. Let's see what we're going to be able to do here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure whether we're going to be able to break them, but I'm very, very intrigued. So, while we're doing that, um, there are a couple of other sort of smaller housekeeping things that we're going to try here. We're going to try to take out these two ships, maybe that one, um, if we can get away with that. We're also going to send out another harm-carrying missile um, from here to maybe take out these raid installations off the uh, peninsula there. I'm not sure it's going to work. Um, and we're going to try to get this Isle 20. So yeah, let's uh, resume the game over here and just uh, jump right back in. You guys are potentially heading to a refuel point. Yeah, that does make some sense. Now, the issue is there are some uh, some ground forces here in Ukraine. We know that, but we don't currently know where they are. Uh, we have sent out quite a couple of planes here that could potentially render some assistance. Uh, but for now, they're not necessarily doing that. So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to bring you guys over here. Um, and from there, you're going to make your way down there. And what I want is for here uh, to be going actually to a kind of low altitude setting. Or do that? Can I not do that? No? Why not? Come on. Okay. Seems, seems to be doing that anyway. And um, that blimp there was a notification of, I think, a new contact or something like that, wasn't it? Uh, might have been this Frogford actually, which is coming in now and uh, doing some close air support, I think. And they really do have a very close range here, so that's kind of interesting to see. Now, we do have a couple of planes here in this broader vicinity, so let's check them out. We've got you, and we got you. No, sorry. You're the root rams, we're tracking you there. Didn't we have some other planes down here? For example, you. You're returning to base bingo. Um, do we maybe 700 miles and you've got 900 miles to fly? You've got 700 miles. If I fly down here and then back to where are currently our tankers? They're here. That's already kind of nifty, isn't it? So maybe that's not that great. Got a couple of tankers here. Let's pull them in much further into into Ukraine. It doesn't quite answer what we're going to do now, though. Seven hundred miles. And that's a Ukrainian airplane plane. Seven hundred miles. It seems risky. They're coming in low, though. Let's try it. Let's try it. We're gonna we're gonna try to um, be a little bit more aggressive here. What are you guys doing, right? You're currently unassigned. You know what? Uh, we're also gonna bring you down because that guy might very well not be the only one who's coming coming in like that. We're also seeing more notifications up over here in the north or northeast, I guess. Right. Well, let's see though. Right. Everyone is lining up kind of neatly. It's okay. I would like to take out these two ships, if at all possible, but I don't see any, um, we don't basically have any capability, capability of doing that. And there's a first flight here, that should be a lot of harm, guys. Uh, we are going to send you right up over here, and that's going to be alright, but while you're doing that, uh, I'll actually ask you to refuel as well. So, it's not going to be a long refuel here. Because basically, um, you, you've you just uh, launched yourself, but still. Still, that should be fine. We are a little bit ahead of time here with these guys. Um, our meticulous planning has been doing pretty well uh, for us, but um, again, these guys don't really have tremendous range, 400 miles or so, until they are reaching bingo fuel. You only need to go to 100, but a lot of these guys are also carrying bombs, so I'm debating at least internally. Uh, let's see whether we're going to maybe send them in um, afterwards and uh, try to use them like that. That seems to be a lot more planes going coming up over here all of a sudden. 
Um, also, this guy is suddenly turning around. Now, I'm not sure whether he's truly turning around to come down here or whether he's uh, fleeing into into the inland there. Right, you know what? Uh, the good thing about you is that you would actually be... You know what? I'm actually going to give you a direct attack order here. Uh, I want to find out how you're doing that. Um, you're doing that by returning home. Ha <laughs> ha, no, my friend. You're not returning home. Uh, you can jettison basically your your anti-air load out and that alone should give you some capabilities here. You can use a laser designator if it is of any help to you. Right, and I suppose an intercept course would be a little bit more like that. There we go. Good. Okay, root rams. Um, your job is going to be to send one missile his way. Fantastic. Uh, more planes being launched must be down here. I think, yeah, seems to be the case. Right, everyone else doing fine? That weird par thing here, just uh, just by Cyprus. Many, many more planes. Seems to be mostly in the north. Could very well be another strike coming in. Could also be just another of a couple of fighters that are sort of replacing the existing ones here. Well, we never know. Right, okay. We could actually, you know what, um, let's actually go to loiter speed here. That's, it's sometimes this is really annoying. I don't know why it's not accepting my input here. Okay, let's pause the game just briefly. Sometimes it has to do something with that. Guys, loiter speed. Yes, thank you. Um, I think that should work uh, pretty fine because that means we don't have to dive quite as deep into this uh, area here. Also, I'm realizing that these SU-27s um, do seem to withdraw here, which is actually kind of lovely because that means we can make our way over here with our F-22. And what I dislike is that it's pretty dangerous close to a lot of the Russian ground installations, including a lot of anti-air installations there. Uh, but what we can potentially do is send a missile his way here. Um, we can actually already ask you guys to... Oh no, you actually already allocated one missile to him. Yeah, but that should work out all right-ish. That's actually two uh, airplanes down there, so... Let's do it like this. One missile to each. We haven't seen them for a while here, but I think we're going to see them um, soon. They were kind of slow, so let's also go back to... Jesus, why can't you accept that? Huh. It's alright, it's alright. We're going to get there in the end. That jammer. Lots of planes over here. Seems, as far as we can identify them, it seems to be mostly fighters. Which is alright ish. Oh, we do have um, this guy down here. You're going to be basically flying sort of straight north, and from this point onwards, I would like it to be coming in low. And then you're going to try to attack these uh, anti air. Sorry, these raid installations. Okay, stop it. This guy is now turning around. So what we're going to do here is we're going to ever briefly turn on our radar. Even though I hate it. And I think we might very well... Ooh. Uh, we might very well lose a lot of things here. But interesting to find all of these ground installations, isn't it? I think we have actually already sent out some missiles against these guys. Um, if I... Mark all of you as hostile. Would that include my own troops? Since I don't know that, uh, we're gonna not do that because that'd be kind of awkward. Okay, there we go. That's our missile. That's nice. You can turn your radar off. Because honestly, I think you're gonna be uh, all right. Anyway, good. Right. Stop. You stupid. Stop. What are you doing? You have reached bingo fuel. Why have you reached bingo fuel? You should not have reached Bingo Fuel. 
you're not going to be allowed to refuel. You're going to come back and you're going to do this attack. You need to be a little bit careful in doing that because I, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to forget that. And at that point, that will mean that we're going to lose planes. Okay, 30 seconds. It's the last time we did manage to see that guy. About a minute now. I think I'm going to actually go it's a little bit slower here. Okay, our missile here is crossing the path through over there. That's all right. Five ships in the broader vicinity here. Lots and lots of radar installations. Nothing over here, interestingly enough. Why don't you follow what we're trying to do here? Really kind of awkward. Okay, it is around 10 past. We don't need to do that immediately. Uh, but very soon, what we should do is start our further ships here, uh, our further aircraft. Uh, you're going to use your offensive OECM and you are going to use your offensive OECM. Thank you. Get into your positions. Graphic Nasio, I think what we're going to do now is launch the Jasons. Not any of the other stuff because that's really too short ranged. But these guys at least I think should launch now. Right, what's your range? Yeah, turn it turn it something. That's that's more than enough. Launch these guys as a group. Everyone else here is doing fine. Yeah. Okay, good, good. And then in this airbase. I think we just hit that plane here. Yes we did. Nice. And in this group. It's pretty much only the F-22s, right? We've got a good strike radius. Let's launch you as a group. There we go. Whew, good. See over here? This guy should also soon be launched, uh, soon be targeted. Yeah, there we go. Nice. It's kind of funny how low these frogfords are coming in. So, yeah, this is really kind of awkward. One of these guys seems to be splitting off. Okay, that's bringing the tankers a little bit closer so that afterwards you can at least do stuff with that. Bingo fuel, you can go 400 miles. This is going to be 40 miles this direction, then come back. Now, the issue is, if this guy is returning for whatever reason there, um, that's that's not good. Station R. Returning to base, bingo. No, 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 you're not. You're coming in over here. Yeah, please. You do need to drop your bombs. Afterwards, you're going to have a better range. This is extremely risky and it's not something that, you know, in real life military would probably do. But we need to take some risks here. Uh, that does make me super, super concerned about our, um, our anti-air loadouts though. Yeah, sorry, our fuel loadouts. Okay, so guys, can you launch now? Because I'm afraid of how deep we are entering into into the airspace here of these guys. 500 knots. You seem to be coming in for strike mission now. Mm, we hopefully do have our radar on. Yeah, we do. Come on now. Why don't you launch? Weapon cannot engage. Th so it's, it's a training thing, I think. Right then. There we go. First missile. Second missile. Nice. Okay. And at this point, you've got a range of 700 miles now. You're 
Na uh, your airbase is way further away than that. So obviously that's not great. And that means that I will at this point allow you to refuel. And actually unassign you from what you're currently doing. I think these missiles will find their, their own way sort of home. Engage the offensive. Okay, and afterwards you're going to return to base. You have the permission to refuel. Um, you evidently dodged that one missile, so let's send that another one your way. Need to be careful about these flankers. Not seeing any replacement for the one that we've shot down there. Um, you guys are coming in too, so... You know what, um, since you guys do carry four bombs, um, I think it might be worthwhile to send out... Wait a minute, wait a minute, oh, wait, wait. We do have bombs. Are these bombs not... Oh! You guys cannot actually target ships. Now that's awkward. Okay, you can, you can return home then. Huh. Well, that's that's kind of bad, right, Jasons? Um, you guys, I think you should try to be sort of around two hundred miles away from the target. So that is going to be where. So target it. This is about four hundred twenty miles. So let's call that two hundred twenty. You're going to be around here. So slightly, slightly to the rear of these guys, which should be okay. Good. You guys are refueling? No. You guys are refueling? Now you guys are honestly pretty fine, so there really doesn't need to be any refueling from these guys. Can't even see the uh, tankers. Oh yeah, it's it's you. That's alright, that's alright. Doing fine here. And there's the F-22s. Now, I believe the F-22s need to be a lot closer so we're gonna sort of bring you over here I think we have a lot of time with these guys and a lot of range so that is kind of nice do you hear the bling sound of uh, further air contacts but we haven't seen them yet okay the SC-25s know that they are under attack this guy is still fine no particularly new development over here, although we are seeing a lot of planes and some of them coming in. So that needs to be something that we do keep an eye on. You're heading to a refuel point. Um, why don't you get unassigned and then refuel from this guy? Can you do that? Or is that, again, something that, that sort of you can't use that? Okay, you can't. Well, let's see. And you know what? Um, we are going to ask you guys here to just automatically refuel from wherever. These missiles are soon going to hit or not. Okay, there's a miss. Well, at least there's one hit. So that's nice. Okay, finally. Yo guys, your range now is going to be alright. It's going to work out. You guys are fine. Um, you could actually come down here a little faster and send out another missile his way whenever you kind of feel like it, please. Cruise speed. You're returning home or at least to a refuel position. You guys can refuel. You guys are refueling anyway. Did shoot down that aircraft? Nice. Our missiles are now have crossed the coast and I think they are close to Konya. First missiles here are actually a little bit ahead of that, which is uh, again not that ideal, but what can we do? You should soon be able to launch. Coming in closer here, we've got these root rams. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is actually use the sensors to see whether we can do that safely. 
Oh, look at that. And suddenly we know a lot more about their ground installations. And not all of them seem to be targeted by us, I think. These raid installations are, but not the anti-air installations that are close to them. Also, we haven't really spotted that one before. Right, what are you guys doing? Refueling? Yeah. Refueling. Everyone is refueling. Uh, we're going to pull that in a lot more. Because I do believe that we need to have a refueling post somewhat closer. We are being hampered here by our inability to refuel. Everyone doing fine here? Uh, well, not you guys. These are Jasons, um, so get over here, please. Do we need to, uh, to launch anyone else here? I don't believe so. Uh, well, we do have another Raptor, which we could send out for sure, but by now I don't think that's the way to go here. Good. Okay, guys, where, where are your bombs? Where are your bombs? What's your range? 12 miles or something? 15 miles. 15 miles. You are within 15 miles. And apparently I, I never did give the order. I think I did give the order, but probably it, uh, it backfired at some point. Probably when we uh, re reassigned our orders, basically. Okay, uh, since you've now done that, um, I would very much like you to sort of circle around here. Don't get within range, but basically get your body to come in close enough. These two missiles, this is really, really bad because this, ti this timing there is really awkward. But oh my, what can we do? Okay, the Frogford um, launching against some tanks there. Not great. I think we did did target the Frogford though. At least one of these guys. Um, maybe you are not using Raiders? No, we are. It just might be pretty low. Lots of planes over there. Uh, who just launched? Might be, might be some. No, I think it must have been a missile, right? Yeah. Okay, that was yeah, that was a missile sound, and we are targeting the Frogford. Unfortunately, uh, it did clear its mission, so not that great, but eh. And it also seems like you guys were about to be hit by these guys, huh? You've got a 500 mile range, um, and that's still 200 miles within the envelope there. But this is looking good. Nice. That one seems to miss. Yeah, that one missed. But that's alright. If we can now please target you with the second guy here. We're actually going to allocate two of these. And hopefully that should be fine. Well, what's that sound? Missile? Up over here. Oh, well, that's interesting. There is someone over here. Is that that still? Is that still that UAV? Yeah, it is. Just Jesus, how annoying can you be? Answers a lot. We're also going to use our radar here. Aha! Uh -huh, look at that. There are some further ground forces here. And that's really interesting, because we should have some bombs around. You guys, where are you currently going? Heading to a refuel point. Um, maybe... What's your range? It's 500 miles. 70 miles there, 200 miles here. Okay, I think we can risk it. Uh, let's switch to Uniview. Let's pick one of you guys. Uh, let's say you. Yeah, why not you? Probably need two, right? Yeah, we only have three bombs on each of these guys. Okay, uh, nickel six. We're gonna unassign you. And we are gonna, can we ungroup you? I think we can. I think that is, that is you as well, right? 
Switch back to group view. No, it's not. Mm, we can ungroup you. Group, group, group. Unit orders? It's the same. Group operations detached. D. Okay, D. Right. Group view. You guys regroup. And attack this guy. There we go. Uh, you're probably still trying to refuel. No, you're not, but... Okay, you guys are going there. You engage defensively. That's nice. Yeah, I think you're going to be alright there. Uh, let's try to get rid of that searcher. I know that probably the AA will be able to deal with that, but it's going to be better if we do deal with it. Come on. Yes, nice. Okay, uh, that leaves you guys with going to the north and then come back and try to attack the SU 27s there. You're launching against them, that's fine. You guys are trying to bomb that, that's cool. Everyone is on their flight path. And I'm really, really paranoid that something is, is about to go very wrong on some end. We did lose a, a group of Grippens, but honestly, Grippens are so, so shite. And that just doesn't really make a difference. Okay, you are you're actually a little bit low on fuel for this. You only have 80 miles to that, uh, but it's going to be kind of difficult to park all of you guys there. But probably we're going to be all right. Uh, we've got this UAV, um, and honestly, I think we can probably send it in a little bit more too. These brimstones are not necessarily the best weapon against any shipping, but still. Okay, we also need to babysit this guy over here. Uh, because we actually need to need to ask you guys to actually potentially refuel. Are you heading to a refuel point? Yeah, I think you are. That's good. Come on now. You can hit him though, please. He's maneuvering, but... I think that must have been the UAV. We're going to check. Yeah, okay. Good. Good stuff here. Yeah, UAV seems to be gone, so that's nice. You guys are doing fine too. You guys are returning. Well, you've still got the cluster. That's kind of interesting. 600 miles, 300 until we're getting to the tanker. Well, we are pretty close here. We could try to, to cluster bomb these guys. But it's a little bit too risky. I don't like it. Um, actually... These SC-27s might actually try to target the this aircraft here. I don't see a big strike coming in, but they might very well be doing that. I don't see any nude recon attempts here, so that's good. You guys are flying north, you're going to try to take out some of these guys there, but we'll see whether it is truly going to work out. Brimstones. Um, you could actually try to... This is one of our UAVs, right? Yeah. Let's try to attack this guy here. You know what? We're just actually going to give you directly the order like that. A little bit less micro. And what's going on here? Okay, that's just the tankers. Uh, we're going to send the tankers off the coast here so that they can provide more immediate support. And I think we actually have all of our aircraft in the air that we do think should be taking part in this. Can pull you in a little bit here. Do we really have that many tankers around? Well, evidently we do. Right, okay, stop. You. Target these guys.
There we go. You have your raid on, you should be able to target them. I'm gonna go to loiter speed because I don't want to be drawn in too far into their range. We're being jammed, so it's it's a little bit more difficult to actually target them. But we're gonna be alright. You guys are carrying the bombs there, you guys should be able to deal with that. So far so good. Some airborne platforms, good. Come on now. Got a lot of missiles, so even though even though these guys are fighters, I think we should be able to, to deal with them. Iris T, what are you actually? Greek Air Force fighters, good. Well, good to see you support. Come on now. They are pretty close. You should be able to see that, even though they are being jammed here, but... Well, the root ram could attack them, but... You only have two more missiles, and I want to keep that for high value targets, so that's a no. Everyone making their way to their drop off points. Some missiles coming in already. Uh, more aircraft? Oh, okay, these guys who are trying to cover this uh, airport or, or naval base. That's good. Okay, guys, come on. Yeah, there we go. And we're not going to launch all missiles immediately because they're going to um, do some evasive maneuvering and such. We're just going to work out fine. What's the Dutch thing there? Okay, there we go. Uh, there's another missile of theirs, um, which means they have definitely spotted us. So we're going to continue firing at them one by one, mostly to keep them off balance. Um, although it seems they're not really trying to paint us uh, here, so... Not sure there. Uh, we should also go to military speed, please. Yeah, they are using fire control radar. But I'm very much hoping that they should turn away now. And we're going to continue to launch at them simply to make sure that they don't give get a peaceful moment here where they can neatly guide in their, their missiles against us. That would really be um, kind of awkward. Come on now. Yes, nice, very good. And all of these five missiles immediately engage this guy. Uh, although they do seem to have some guidance here, although they might just be passing in through here. So that's nice, but yeah, look at that. Our missiles are also really not accurate. We don't need to be engaged defensively at least anymore. Good, good so far. You guys are coming in there, nice. Everyone getting pretty close. That's good. And by the way, I noticed that these guys, according to the contact reports, they basically stopped using radar a couple of hours ago, which I do find kind of odd. Okay, all of these missiles missed. There are only three more in the air that might actually hit them, but these two are definitely not gonna hit. Pretty much only this one that has any chance of hitting. Um, and given our existing track record here, I think we're actually going to just fire off all of our missiles. Just like. Come on, there we go. One more, two more. The root rams, um, you're returning to buy shotgun. No, 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 my friends, you are not. You are very far away from shotgun. You still have two missiles. And I want to be using them if I can. Notice just how many installations they've got uh, on their turf. Now again, we're not uh, actually allowed to engage those. But yeah, sometimes it's all that we can do. 
Okay, um, guys, you can go back to loiter speed, please. Because having spent all of your missiles, you don't actually need to get any closer, please. Okay, there we go. Fine, fantastic. Now, let's get you over here, here, and then that should be it. You've got, I think, sufficient sufficient range here to get here. So yeah, let's uh, get you to return to base. But again, you're going to do that slightly, slightly off center here. Yeah, excellent range now. You did that well. Shot down quite a couple of planes here. Nice. These guys are all tankers, I, I presume. Yeah. Okay, so basically only this tornado group here I think is a little bit uh, behind schedule. So we need to launch, I think our first, our first airborne missiles are going to launch at 2.40, so in 15 minutes. That should actually, I think, include you guys. Um, you're not going to be here in 15 minutes. So we're going to um, hit the paddle here a little bit. So that at least you're not completely too late. We might actually come in a little bit more, more straight towards the enemy here. Yeah, that should be cool. Right. We'll then also need to think about when we're going to launch with these guys. Now, I think they're just going to launch just before that. Basically, the fly time of these missiles here is very short because it's a very short range. So, yeah, you have some time left. We're going to keep you loitering here because we'll need to dive in low and aggressively uh, towards these targets and burn a lot of fuel while we're doing that. So I would kind of like not to do that um, if, we, if we can avoid it. Okay, you guys are refueling. You know what? Um, let's actually return you to base. You should notice that you can't go to base. Yeah, and now you're back to tanking. Okay, good. Good stuff there. Um, how about you guys? So, yeah, you, you're really fine. How about you guys? Really fine. That's good, that's good. Basically, these guys are pretty much gonna launch right about five minutes after they arrive here. So, that's gonna be that. Starting to get a little bit nervous, but uh, yeah, soon it's soon, soon we're just gonna throw the dice here and uh, see what we can do, okay. You guys are have around 350 miles until you return to base. That's fine. We're going to try to launch afterwards against these targets there. Um, although, to be honest, like some of these down here might actually be a bad target. We only have two, two missiles, so... Let's try to hit these radar installations. These big ones. Or at least the jammer. I think the jammer might be a very good target. More more flank is coming in from here. It's good to know. Interesting planes up here. Very slow. What's this one? 250 knots. That's really, really kind of slow. And I'm thinking that this group of two planes, which I asked to attack this guy, um, has sort of forsaken that. Didn't we ask someone to attack here? Who was that? Who was that and where are they? I thought it was... Yeah, it was these guys. So let's attack here with these guys. You're going to refuel, but then you will have the range to actually uh, do that. And that's okay. Good. We're actually probably going to have the Ukrainians lose this thing, but not much that we can do about that. Um, I do think we have some Eurofighters. Yeah, four Eurofighters, which are eventually going to make their way over towards Ukraine. 
That's a little bit not enough, I think, but we're kind of limited in what we do actually have. Yeah, Owen seems to be doing all right, though. Ha, ah, now this is a little bit awkward because you're going to be engaged against these guys here and you potentially need to turn off your radar. Because these guys here are coming in so fast that I do think they've got um, some sort of attack plan. Yeah, they're changing now, so... Uh, who knows what they what they have in mind here. You know what, we're going to try to avoid them and come in like that against these targets. Just opportunistically far off a little bit there. Even though it's n unlikely to be super useful. Everyone doing fine. Uh, what are you doing? Um, you should be not assigned to that mission because you're not you're just gonna fly straight over you <laughs> over Crimea and I honestly do not believe that to be a good thing for you right half past let's double check that so at three o'clock we are gonna be arriving there uh, you guys need to launch at 70 miles that means you need to fly 60 miles and the fly time of these missiles here is going to be around about just a couple of minutes, really. So that's that's really not significant. And that basically means if I want to launch against these guys, for example, I need to fly 60, 60 miles. You need to come to around here, right? 60 miles at your speed of 480 knots, let's say, should be... Should be easy, right? Should be an eighth or so. It should be less than 10 minutes. It's probably going to be the same time as these guys are going to arrive there. Because that's also 60 miles. But these guys will launch and then it's going to take them 20 minutes for, for that to, to launch. So basically just before we launch, we're going to uh, get these guys here ready. At least with the harm missiles. You are flying over here. Um, you're a little bit slow then, I think. You guys are all fine, but you're kind of slow, all of you. So, shall we go a little bit faster here? Let's go military speed, at least with the ones that are slightly behind here. Don't need to overdo it, but we need to be very careful here not to screw this up. Many, many more planes, but so far it's okay. Don't know what this is yet. We don't know what this is yet. Uh, previously we did see some artillery pieces, but that was kind of odd anyway. Okay, these guys are still running extremely fast. Which I find incredibly odd, because that's military speed. They're burning fuel like crazy. Let's look at these guys. So they're burning how much fuel? 200 kilograms per minute. And your fuel capacity is, well, quite a lot. But you can't keep that up for long. You surely can't. They're going to be soon able to to engage uh, this guy here. So you know what? Um, let's let's try to go even lower. Does their heading change if I do this? As far as I can tell, not. Odd, really odd. So are you really targeting the? The F-35 here. We seem to be doing that. But we are still jamming, so what if we stopped the jamming? It's 
still so so fast. Now luckily the F-35 is a really fast plane so even their their military speed is kind of almost these guys after burning speed. So maybe, maybe it's going to be useful. Right, let's see. Okay guys, I think you can try to do the first strike here. Let, let's see if it is going to work. Okay, we can't target this group. Can we target the jammer? Yeah, we can. Can we target the Sam? No, we can't. Can we target this S400? No, we can't. Gladiator. S300, there's another mobile installation down there. There is another radar up here. We're gonna try to target that too. I kind of don't think that it's gonna work. But at least it's gonna give us a first indication. And if we are maybe very lucky, maybe, maybe, just maybe. Okay, that these guys still running extremely fast. Really worrying actually. You guys are doing fine though. Um, you are starting to run a little bit low on fuel. So maybe let's pull you back. Make sure that we've got the fuel to cover things. You guys are over here, that's cool. Uh, where are you and why are you here? Oh, you're covering that uh, airbase, good. You guys are all right, what are you carrying? Oh yeah, just the tankers. What are you carrying, Jason's? Yeah, you need to be here. That's all right, ish. Um, you guys are a little bit far behind, so speed you up a little bit. Right, soon, soon. All of these guys are coming in. Let's have these guys launch, and then I think we are going to call the episode to a close. These are really the first shots that are going to impact anywhere close to here. I think the SU-27s are really trying to get after the uh, F-35 here. Now uh, this would be kind of bad for this guy because he would be shot down pretty close to Crimea itself. Okay, but there we go. They are actually returning, which is a very lovely indication that we can go back to loiter speed. And I think this gentleman over here might very well soon embark on something extremely stupid. And that is basically going right up into the air and saying, well, that was a fun time. Come on. You should be able to launch the second missile here. Why are you not doing that? Aircraft altitude too low. Well, why are you so low? Why? No threat emitters are currently imitating. Awkward. Um, in that case, let's try to send the second one after this radar. Doesn't really that ma make that much sense. It's pretty sure that we're not going to be able to do that, but there we go anyway. Right, um, let's keep low altitude, please, until you're out of this. Okay, the flankers are there. That's all right. Yeah, but there we go. There's the first surface air missile, which I very much presume is going after this target here. So, it might also be coming in after these these things. Yeah, they are flying pretty high, so it's probably after our missiles here rather than anything else. But still, let's try to make our way uh, out of this. The good thing is that they are actually using their sort of high value missiles against this target. Which, uh, I'm going to accept that happily. Things over here still fine. 
Um, one of these fights really should start to engage these guys up here. Yeah, you engage defensive now, you really should have the range to deal with that. So that's good. Yeah. Okay, this guy has been shot down. More missiles being launched against him. Again, they're not really going to get anywhere, but... We needed to try and test the waters here. So that being said, I think now is a good place to put in a cut. So next time around, uh, we will be launching. We will be launching and potentially also seeing the impact. So, very intrigued about that. 3 o'clock is the time when uh, all hell should rain loose on here. So, hope to see you around then. Shouldn't, should, should be something there. Bye bye guys.